You will. You just did. Oh, you making noise? Yeah, well, you making noise over there. Don't pay attention in the background to the wizard behind the camera. Yes, never mind the wizard behind the curtain. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. It's the Corbin. I'm happy. <laughs> Gross. Uh, <laughs> not that happy. <laughs> on Instagram, Instagram, Twitch, uh, Twitch, but you sick gum. Yeah. Oh, it's dripping down your thorax. What's your thorax? It's a very personal place that I can't discuss with you. Is it a part of the body? Though? It really is. The thorax is what a part is of the body. Thorax? No idea, but it is a part of your body. I thought it was, body. but I don't know where it is. I think the thorax is down in your throat. Isn't. Oh, okay. It's like so it's like your, your larynx? Between your sternum, your larynx, and your uh, colon. <laughs> Anyways, today we're doing a movie review. Next to your cockix. Magumbo. Kushwa. We've already done that review. You can watch that one. That's why I have the cup. But I'm sure many of you are sending us messages saying, why don't you review Mr. India? Yeah. Nobody reads the cup. Nobody actually goes and searches for what they're recommending anymore. We watched a movie. Uh, it's a 2012 uh, Tamil uh, horror thriller film. Uh, a, and it's directed and written by Karthik Sarbanj, right? Sarbanj? Uh, or maybe Subaraj? Subaraj, okay. Close enough And days. starring Vijay Sarabhati. Vijay Sarabhati, not Sarabhati. Um, and in He's basically, he's the star of, of this film. There's a couple other supporting characters. Ramya Nab, Nab, Nabdishan. Nabdishan. Um, but uh, where, did we, where did we watch this? We watched this on Amazon? Amazon. Did we watch it on Yeah, Amazon? it was Amazon for sure. I always forget. No, because uh, we, rent, we rented it. It wasn't Amazon Prime. But it came out mm, about 10 years ago now. So uh, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Come back unless you like to be a spoiled little baby. And we'll thank you. I hit myself on the ass so hard last night that I left a mark, a nice, legit... Why were you slapping your ass? As opposed to somebody else. Well, I, I, well that happens too. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The wizard. Uh, <laughs> Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Start already. It doesn't matter. I won't read what you write, but you chameleons who already assume I'm going to have a judgment about film from your region simply because it's from your region, this will fulfill everything you expect from me because I disliked this film. And it's not because I have a particular disinterest or dislike for a particular region. I'm always looking for films to be good. This one was not. And that's it. This will be a pretty short review. Because <laughs> when you don't have anything really nice to say, you should, well, uh, we can look for some things yeah. that are good about it, like the fact that it wasn't any longer than it was. Um, and I just, uh, and I, I don't want, I don't, you know, people don't, we talk about this, they don't set out to make a bad film. Mm. That's not their intention. Yeah. But I just, yeah. Yeah, we did get recommended a lot. It, I did, yeah, I didn't love it. I, I did like a certain part of it a lot more than the other parts. The, the ending when it stopped. Uh, no, not that. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that. But the, <laughs> the, 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 I think the best part of the film is actually when it's just VJ in the house. And it's basically like you're you're in a normal horror film. There's some jump scares and blah 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 blah. Uh, I'm not saying it was great that part, but I think that was probably I think the best moment because there were actually in terms of scary stuff. This is probably in terms of the stereotypical scary stuff. Probably the scariest. It's not scary. I'm not saying it's scary, but in terms of how it jump scares and stuff, because we haven't really watched something that's. Incredibly yeah. scary. I will. I will I'm not saying say, it's the best film we watched by any stretch. No, I will say when he went into the bedroom and turned and looked, yeah. and she was stuck up on the wall with a knife in her yeah, side. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's when what I'm that happened. About. I I was shocked because everything else in the thing had, I was not enjoying. Yeah, and that sequence happened, and I went, "Oh, that's mm. actually nice." Yeah. So like, there's but nothing else. I wasn't. I was never scared. That no, not not saying I was scared, but in terms of all the other films we've watched. We've not really watched anything scary. We watched some really good films, but in terms of like horror films here, no, we've not really watched something of the caliber. We've had of we've Hollywood had good horror. jump scares, yeah. but yeah, nothing, nothing, that, that's nothing. Scary. That when it was over, I was uncomfortable walking around yeah. in the dark. Absolutely not. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, so that was probably my favorite part. 
Um, VJ, I thought, did okay. Uh, he was much better <laughs> in 96. Oh, and, my stars. And, 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 uh, and Super Deluxe. And, but, you know, that, that much better. those films required him to, you know, do a lot more uh, than just be scared. I guess. Yeah. Um, and it's my my biggest gripe uh, with the film is oh well, the writing of course. But um, I hated the ending. Yeah, I me, I hated the ending. Me too. I was like that is dumb. Yep. <laughs> Gimmicky. Yeah. Yeah. I was like just didn't work. That's where you're gonna go with it. Like, right. I think they were like here's gonna be a cool twist. Yeah. It's a, now a diamond heist. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't. I didn't. I didn't understand why it didn't need to be that big of a, 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 I, a, I a know. twist. It could have just been. I thought it would have been much better if, like, he actually murdered them and he was trying to get away with it. Like, right, something like that. I thought that would have been way better. Or just a haunted house. Mm -hmm. Just a plain haunted house where he's the only one who sees what's happening. Like when it transitioned to police tape mm. and the cops showed up. At that point, some of the things that I had issue with made sense. At that point. Like his resp um, I don't I don't want to be mean, mm. so I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> Other than I had a lot of problems with some of the things that happened yeah. with him alone in the house. Yeah. So when it turned out that they showed up and all of this had been happening as either a, just a phantasm or something, I thought, oh, okay, this Could is be interesting. Because right? then I had what you thought. I thought yeah. either this is a haunted house or he's the killer. Yeah. And then they did that Keystone Cops fight. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you could definitely tell it was way low budget film. <laughs> because, yeah, the, uh, the choreogra choreography and stunt work was non-existent. Yeah, and uh, I agree. The whole diamond heist aspect of it was pointless to me. And dumb. Yeah. I didn't, I did, I, I like audibly was like, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. That was it? Yeah. So basically everything in the house wasn't real. Yeah, and to give you a single note in regard to, because there's a lot I could point out and I don't want to be nitpicky, uh, because you can already, just saying that I didn't enjoy the acting and other aspects of it is enough. But for those of you who want to know more than that and know, like, for example, why, I was shocked to see, and I agree with you, I, I, was, I was thinking to myself, same guy in, in 96 and Super Deluxe. Yeah. Uh, there's three times where he indicates crying and I talk about we talk about indicating a lot indicating and acting is an absolute no-no unless it's farcical intentionally yeah uh, and indicating is doing something completely disingenuous that's not coming from a place of honesty example your character is supposed to cry you can't generate tears so you wipe away tears that don't exist to make us believe you're crying that's called indicating it is a giant no-no it destroys believability and shows that you just don't have the skills to cry on cue and so you're going to try to do something as a trick to make us believe you mm -hmm. that happened three times where he went to wipe away a tear that didn't exist mm -hmm. um and it, it, so i think it, i think it could have had a lot of potential i liked and, the and, concept yeah it, until the, the diamond heist yeah the, i really disliked the that end of the film because it, it was like completely out of left field and not like in a good way. Correct. Like Anda Handa Han, you know, has no, some yeah. great like twists. So like, oh, wait, and we've seen he, a lot of great twists. Was he blind the whole time? Right. What like I think the better twist would have been he was the murderer the whole time. I agree. Either and like that or just straight haunted house. Yeah, like I think it would have been great. You started basically just you could have made this like almost an hour long film. Him starting. And delivering a pizza and this stuff just yeah, starting all and of the pre yeah didn't need that you didn't the need relationship it with the girlfriend in fact i wrote in my notes it's really hard to root for a guy who's a dick yeah yeah and clearly in the end he turned out to be it because they were just stealing diamonds and so they obviously weren't supposed yeah, to be yeah but his, the way people. he treated her yeah slapped her yeah, yeah and by yeah, the way yeah. if, if we've talked about this before if a woman slaps you that's, that doesn't give you carte blanche green light to slap her back guys yeah mm -hmm. and then him just reprimanding her all, like, all the time yeah, it was it was definitely hard to root for, but clearly out in the end, he just, he's obviously not a good person. No. Which is totally fine. But yeah, if it had but started... I think it would have been like, just, you didn't have to explain anything. This is a pizza man. Absolutely. Pizza Going guy. into a, a house. Yes. And he, this just happened. Yes. I think it would have been way better. And then to find out that he's just trying to explain this away, like, or he just doesn't remember. Yep. Or he's just trying to play crazy. And then you put him in jail, and it's one of two things at the end. He's either Raman Raghav 2.0 nuts, mm -hmm. or... This is a haunted house and you go back to another delivery person and consistently people who go to this house 
wind up seeing this haunted experience and they get charged for the crime that happened in the house even though they were innocent. Yeah, I think something like that would have been way better. I agree. And you could have cut out a lot of the, the, the stuff that really wasn't needed. Yeah. I think the middle part of the film, even though it wasn't great, I think it was the, definitely the most intriguing part of the film. Absolutely. And I, I think a lot of the, the issues could probably be pointed to, it's a, I think this is this director's first film and he's, I think, not done much after that. Let me was that see. true? Let me see here. Um, oh, he he did put out a new one with the new this year. We've yeah, but back to... back in his resume, I think you're right. This is uh, let me see pizza. So it's you, very early. It, yes, second film. No, his no it's first, his first feature. Yeah, and it shows. and the story story screenplay direction, it does. And it, so um, I'm sure he I'm sure he's he's grown uh, as as a director and a, and a, a filmmaker. Uh, we don't know because I don't think we've. And I, I, he, seen, made, he did a Rasha Kantai. We've seen songs and the trailer of that. And I know this film came out this year. A lot of people liked it. Some people didn't like it. Um, so you, but you could definitely tell it was almost, it was like his first. And you could, there was a lot of those kind of things that he probably told VJ. He was like, just wipe away, wipe away a tear. Right. Uh, hopefully, you know, VJ, I don't know where he was at this at point in his career either. Yeah. But like, hopefully he would be like, why would I do that? Exactly. Yeah. Is that, that, I mean, but sincerely that is such a deal breaker you think i'm kidding when i say this i don't name a director working with them they tell me to wipe away a tear that's not there i'm gonna i'm gonna ask if i can have a, a question you know they may say don't question me and i may do it and i won't like it but i'm not just gonna do it without asking why are you asking me to do that because <laughs> yeah. it's just the one well, of the biggest so, no-no's. I think, yeah, I think that was probably the biggest. And it happens in films, you know. It doesn't always... We've seen, we've seen some great directorial debuts. Oh, my stars, it's, yes. And so it's not always the case, but no. sometimes you can definitely tell. More... It's an ant... Like, he's, it's his, his first film. More he, often than not, first films look like first films. So that's why we've been shocked to see first films that are, are really, really good. Yeah. So knowing that it's his first film, you, you can give a lot of pass yeah, but still, to it, that. Yeah, but still... It definitely wasn't my favorite horror film that we've seen thus far <laughs> no. at all. But if you liked it, I'm so glad you did. And because I know a lot of you love this film because it was it's been highly requested and and all and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, but you just didn't like it. You can't win the ones you lose. But. Uh, what other horror films from Tamil or other regions uh, should we watch for? And it doesn't have to be horror, but you know, no, but kind of psychological we're... thriller, yeah, um, mind bending, and uh, beyond that, what should be the next Tamil and Vijay? Because we do think he's a really good actor. Oh, we, we know he is. Yeah, he did. Yeah, some of the best work in in Super Deluxe and and um, and in '96. And we didn't even talk about the fact because we give it a pass now. We know that sometimes it's in the industry and we just have to deal with it. It is annoying to yeah. not have sync sound. Yeah, it's just kind I, of... we, I, we get it. We know that the industry has been doing it for years. Yeah. So. But let us know what should be the next Tamil film that we should watch. Tamil.